Hey fellow wanderers, this is Restless Wanderer here and uh, tonight uh, introducing a new video series, High Points and Ultras. So I spent a lot of time at Elevation, got a lot of video that I'd like to share and I'm just kind of teeing it up this way. So I've got a little tutorial here coming up in a second. Hope you guys enjoy. High Point A, the sport of ascending to the point with the highest elevation within a given area. Examples include climbing the highest point of each U.S. state, reaching the highest point of each county within a specific state, ascending the highest mountain on each continent, ultra prominence or ultras, an ultra prominent peak, or ultra for short, is a mountain summit with a topographic prominence of 4,900 feet or more. There are approximately 1,524 such peaks on Earth. Putting 4,900 feet into perspective, the Empire State Building has a rip height of 1,250 feet and stands a total of 1,454 feet. An ultra is taller than 3.4 Empire State Buildings. Alright guys, so this is a real world example of what we're talking about. This is King's Peak off to the right here, and it's the highest point in Utah at 13,534 feet. And King's Peak is also an ultra because the difference between the ground around it and the top is about 6,348 feet. That's the, that's the official number. And that's about 4.4 Empire State Buildings. Okay. So that's about one Empire State Building more than the minimum to be a, an ultra. I've got another video on this channel where I'm climbing Mount Adams, and I'll put the link below. It's actually a lower elevation um, by about a thousand feet, only you know twelve thousand two hundred and eighty. Uh, but its ultra rating is two thousand feet higher at eight thousand one hundred and sixteen, so five point six Empire State Building. So the highest point isn't always the highest ultra and vice versa but in either case you know it's a it's a it's a slog uh, there's a lot of elevation gain here and so um the rest of the video here is just kind of a quick uh training climb that i did when i was um in the cascades uh this is when i was getting ready to go up rainier and uh it's mountain dickerman it's about a four thousand foot elevation gain from the parking lot up to the top so it's a good workout, and uh, the views from the top are spectacular, as you're going to see. And, um, you know, lastly, Dickerman is a little more dangerous than people give it credit for in the uh, spring and then in the fall when you start getting snow. If you're not uh, carrying the right gear, there's been a number of fatalities, but uh, it is a great climb. So hope you enjoy. All right, Sunday, July 9th. Mountain I'm going up the backside, and I was gonna go. Uh, I think one of those two peaks. I think go either there or there, which I think is Vesper. Maybe, maybe over there, and then Sperry. I think is that peak. I may be wrong though. So I'm on the back side. I actually got to go up there. I'm making pretty good time, but this was kind of a nice little meadow that I that I came up, and you can't see it now, but there's a huge cliff right on the other side of those trees, which is the face of Dickerman. So obviously, I don't want to go there. Over there is Mount Pilchuck, and that's kind of the local mountain that everybody knows. And if you, that's the river valley that we come up. And I think the ice caves, which were, we went last year, I think are just down below down there, so we're on the other side of that. So, just gonna get a energy uh, energy boost here to make it the last uh, 400 feet or so. And then I'll film more when we get to the top. 
Okay, we're on the top of Dickerman and we'll do the tour. We're looking north and there's Mount Baker. Been much closer now than where we were yesterday or last weekend. Now Baker is about <clears throat> 10, 10, 8 I think. But it's a much harder mountain to climb. It's a lot more technical, I guess. <clears throat> okay, then going to the right. View of the Cascades. <clears throat> There's Glacier Peak. Now we were looking at it from the south. Now we're looking at it probably from the west side. I think that's Pew. I'm not sure. Looking to the south. This area in here is um, called uh, Monte Cristo. There used to be an old mining city here. It's now abandoned. Okay. Going to the right, there's Rainier. So that's where I'll be in four weeks. <laughs> that's a big mountain. And I don't know if that's Hood in the background or not. I think it is. I think that's Hood right over there. Maybe St. Hel no, wouldn't be St. Helens. <clears throat> and then, uh, I gotta be careful here. <laughs> You'll see why in a minute. Okay, so there's the ice caves over there. And here's the cliff I was telling you about. And that goes way down. That's a pretty big cliff. And then that's back to Glacier, or Baker. There's a nice little waterfall down there. A couple hundred feet or so. So here's another shot of the cliff. <laughs> That's a big cliff. And I'm on, you can see over here. That's just a straight drop, straight face all the way down, way down there. So you don't want to be falling off of that. There's the valley that we drive up in the river. And then, like I said, there's Pilchuck. And then over there, those mountains are the Olympics over on the Olympic Peninsula. But you gotta go across the sound to do that. It's just a little bit too hazy to see the, the sound. There's some serious waterfalls going on here. If you look at it. It's 
keeps going and going and going. You know, Carrie and, my, and I may have climbed in that valley <coughs> before uh, last year, last October. Um, I think we may have walked up that a little bit. I don't remember. Huh. I don't know what that is. I'll have to find out. There's a ski hill on the other side of that. I went skiing on Mount Baker. That was pretty good. It's awful pretty here. I'm going to turn around a little bit. Let's see, another shot of Rainier over there. And then I think this whole mountain range is called the Big Four. Um, one, two, three, and four. And that's about it. It's quite a long way down that way. Kind of an interesting one too. Ah, uh, I'm a little. I don't know what it is, but I really struggled getting up here today. Maybe it's because I've got a monster load in my pack, but uh, I'm really cramping up. Luckily, it's all downhill now. So, got up here in three hours and ten minutes, which is pretty good. I think it's a 36, 3700 foot elevation gain.